Made it back. I'm here, I'm back, hunting grounds, woohoo! Uh, the weather is obviously crazy. I can't tell if that is snow or hail or rain. Yeah, I'm excited to go see my dad. And my bro. Well done, bro. What a four pointer. So I'm hunting. I'm so excited. I'm back on the ranch hunting. Um, and I just found something again really cool. I thought I'd show it to you. It's always fun to find things from prayers when you're hunting. Why am I hunting when it's this cold? Maybe I'm crazy? Maybe I'm weird? Definitely weird. I don't know. Just sick for it. I don't know. I want some meat. I'm hungry. Well, last year we were lucky enough to get a bull elk tag in a special draw area. Being the stubborn women that we are stuck with the trad bow until November 15th because we promised our family and our man that if we hadn't harvested any meat by that time, we'd pick up the boomstick. Let's talk about that. Okay. So November 15th, I promised my family that if I hadn't gotten an elk or meat in the freezer, by November 15th, I would give up the bow and pick up the bow stick because we needed meat. My man needed meat, I needed meat, my, meat, my man needed meat, my whole family needed meat. It was time for some meat. So November 17th, Dad, Goat and I went out and harvested some meat. I got my very first elk and it was the hardest easy thing I've ever done. We've ever done. Alright, I'll explain the 
hardest easy thing we've ever had to do. It's the hardest because we are so attached to the trad bow. We've wanted and tried for so many years to get an elk with a trad bow and it never happened. We had our arrow ricochet off one earlier this year. So I'm at the spot where I missed that big huge monster bull earlier this year, which by the way I found the arrow for. And I'm realizing how much closer he was than I thought. And it actually was kind of a tricky shot, but I keep replaying it in my head and I am so bummed out. So to give up the trad bow to harvest meat because that is what needed to happen. We needed food um, was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. I remember looking in the truck and seeing my trad bow and, and knowing I was leaving to go hunting without it and there was a pain in my heart. But um, yeah, so that was hard. It was the hardest thing I've done to leave my bow like that behind. It was like leaving my buddy. Um, but it was easy. It was easy to get the meat. I, I can't believe this. Um, so November 17th, we practiced that afternoon. I shot, what, three rounds, four rounds practicing. We went out hunting. It snowed. Snow turns any bad hunter into a good hunter. You've got tracks. Um, and we found fresh tracks and I was able to get the crosshairs on an elk, I don't know, 20 yards running and boom. It was the easiest hunt I've ever been on. So getting that meat, harvesting the elk was actually really easy. Um, so yeah, leaving the bow behind was hard. Harvesting the meat was easy. Getting the the carcass out was hard though. That was hard. So yeah, hardest easy thing I've ever done. Good to have meat in the freezer. Good to have meat for dinner. Yeah. 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 Alright, here we go. That's how it rolls. Next time, it's it's trad bow. Back to trad bow. Yeah, get it done with bow and arrow. Yeah, yeah. Bow and arrow, bow and arrow, bow and arrow, bow and arrow, bow and arrow.